Our WordPress website is already there, and we have also Gatsby installed and ready to be used. So I have here localhost 8888, and for the WordPress website, I have localhost 8000. So it is already run here. I just run Gatsby develop and port 8888. And if you are not sure on how I use that, so you can go to the previous lesson. There are some main plugins that we need to install. So in order to add custom fields, then to add multilingual plugins. So there's two plugins are ECF and also WPML. And to take a look to that, let's just go to the GitHub repo that I created, Gatsby WordPress ECF WPML, and you can find the link on the description. So this plugins are ECF Pro or ECF. So choose one of them. So the first one right here, it is paid. So it is not free, but the second one is free. And this will be used to create custom fields to posts and pages. And we can fetch these fields by using Gatsby. And for that, we need also, after we install this ECF, we need to install this ECF to REST API to expose advanced custom fields to the checkpoint WordPress REST API because you can access this WordPress REST API. Okay, let's just take a look here. I'll go put that in full screen and copy this link. And I'll go to WPG Sun. Okay, why I can't access to that? I have a not found. So let's just go to the admin and we'll try to solve this problem. Go to the admin and I just go to Gatsby. So the problem is because of the permalinks. Go to the settings and permalinks. So I have this plain one because th these are the URL right now, but you need to change it to post name in order to access to the WP REST API and save the changes. Now, if I just refresh the page, so you'll see that I have a JSON file that includes all of the data that I need to fetch from Gatsby. Okay, to have a nice looking of all of that, I already installed a Chrome extension. Okay, let's just copy the link here. And as you see here, so I have a nice looking JSON file. It is readable and it is easy to navigate through. I put the link of this Chrome extension here on the Gatsby WordPress repo. So you can check that here, JSON Viewer. And you can install it, it's already installed. It tells me to remove it from Chrome, but I already installed it. And if it's already there, I can go to the option here and change the theme through Dracula or any other one. So let's just keep it like that. Okay, let's just return now to WordPress. Let's visit the admin dashboard. Okay, I'll copy the link and use WP admin and go to plugins to install the first one, which is ECF. Okay, go to the add new and search for the first one. And this is the result and I'll try to install it. But I have a problem here. So connection information is just asking me about FTP, but I'm not using any FTP. So for people who use Docker to install WordPress, so they need to access the container and check the permissions. Okay, for that, I'll go and attach the shell. And from here, in order to access to the container, now I'm accessing the container. Let's just increase the size a little bit. Okay, do an LS. And if I do an LS all, so you will see that I have a root here instead of www.dev. Okay, this is a problem here. So I need to change the permissions or the permission of the user so that you have all of the permissions of this WP content folder from root to www.dev. Okay, let's just go here, www.dev and www.dev. And I'll use WP content. Okay, shown dash R, don't forget that because it will only be applied on the WP content and not the charts. Use this one to be recursive. Okay, enter. Now if I do an else all, you'll see that I have a WP content. I just changed the permission on all of that. Okay, now if I return and I refresh the page and I'll try to install it again, I will not have any problem. So if it's installing, no. If it's installed, it, no, we need to activate it. The first plugin is installed, done. Now we need to move to the next one. For the next one, let's just move to the repo again. So I have the ECF tourist API click here and I access now to a GitHub repo. I will download it, download the zip. Okay, go to download, save that. Now I have a plugin right here, download it, a .zip file, and I will return again to the plugin section, add new. And instead of going to the search, I will just upload the plugin to the file. And I'll go to the download and 
open that and click on install. Okay, and it was installed and we'll just activate the plugin. Now we have two plugins already installed, the ECF2 REST API and Advanced Custom Fields. Don't start with the first one, ECF2 REST API, because it's need advanced advanced custom fields if it's a requirement before we install this ecf to rest api because at the end this ecf to rest api which it is doing exactly is just expose advanced custom fields endpoint into the wordpress rest api now if we'll just go here to wpg son so it will add an ecf okay if we check it for ecf you'll see that i have ecf version 3 now, after I add any custom field in a post or in a page, so all of the fields will be exposed right here on this WPG sound part. Now we'll go very fast to install the other plugins, which they are WPML, Multilingual CMS, and WPML REST API. And this, both of these plugins are used for the Multilingual and in order to add this functionality of Multilingual on WordPress. And the second one is just to it's like ecf to rest API to expose the advanced custom fields and point into the WordPress API. So this plugin right here, it will expose WPML and point into the WordPress REST API. I already downloaded them both. And for that, I will just go to the admin dashboard, upload plugin, choose the file. I'll go for the first one, WPML plugin, and install it now. Okay, cool, let's unpack in the package and installing the plugin with Leverbitch, activated. Cool, the WPML is installed. Before we install the next one, let's just configure the WPML, go to configure it, current content language, keep it English, go to next. And for the next one, I'll go for French. Okay, we wanna translate English to French. Next, and next again. Okay, next again, remind me later, finish that. And I think that we finished the WPML configuration. Okay, I will register WPML because I already have licenses and all of that. And I will not go through this process here. Uh, okay, let's just, just finish installing the plugins. We will move to install the WPML REST API. And I'll click on this link right here. And I'll download it. Clone, download, download zip. Okay, I download it here. Save that. Now I'll move to the admin and add a new plugin. Upload plugin and choose the file. And for the file, I will choose this WPML REST API, open that, install it, activate the plugin. Now all of the plugins are activated. Let's just click here on Active to see that. We have the ECF REST API, Advanced Custom Fields, WPML Multilingual CMS, and WPML REST API. And this is what do we need in order to fetch the data from Gatsby for the ECF, for the ECF and WPML. There's two plugins, Advanced Custom Fields, and WPML will add some functionalities to our WordPress. But ECF to REST API and WPML REST API will just export some fields into this WPG zone in order to fetch the data by using the REST API.